September, so you know what that means. Time to put together a new TBR. Okay, I decided to do something a little different this month with picking out my TBR. I actually got this idea from Sarah. She is a booktuber and she's my absolute favorite. I saw her do this a couple months ago and I thought it was just a really good idea. So I posted stories on my Instagram yesterday with a poll, two books on each story, and asked people which one I should read for my September TBR. And then I let you guys decide what I should read this month. So, I also did a lot of Kindle books because I have a ton on my Kindle library and I want to get through them. So a lot of these books I don't have the paperback form on, they are all Kindle books. So on the first side, the two books that I put were By a Thread by Lucy Score, which I have on my Kindle Unlimited, and then Love Theoretically by Allie Hazelwood. I am not going to lie, I have no idea what either of these are about. People just recommended them and they look really good. I've heard really good things about both of them, so I honestly didn't care which one won. I was excited to read both of them. Love Theoretically ended up winning. It was 57% to 43%, so not by a whole lot, but it seems like they both got a lot of votes, but this one did get a little bit more. So I will be reading this this month. Let's read the back and just get a little bit of an idea what we're all going into. Okay, so the back says rival physicists collide in a vortex of academic feuds and fake dating shenanigans. Love it. I love a good fake dating trope because you know that they're going to fall in love. Like, whenever you act like you love someone like that, you're going to fall in love with them. That's just how it is. I'm not, I, I literally just read this part. I'm not going to read this because I want to go in blind. I feel like it helps me enjoy the book more if I read the back I feel like it kind of turns me off to the book I don't know I just feel like they're never that good so this is gonna be the first one in our September TBR okay moving along I've never read a hockey romance so I wanted to add a hockey romance into my September TBR and I happened to pick up this one the other day it's Icebreaker by Hannah Grace I've seen this all over the place everyone seems to be obsessed with it so I was super excited whenever I saw this. So I grabbed this and then I put this one up against a book that I have on my Kindle. It's Behind the Net. I've also seen a ton about that. It's by Stephanie Archer. So honestly, with these two, again, I didn't care which one won. I want to read both of them eventually, but Icebreaker did win 67% to 33%. So kind of by a lot. Just by looking at like the first line, it looks like she's been working her entire life for a shot at the USA team. Everything's going according to plan. Oh, so it's about them fighting to be able to share the facility, the ice ring facility. So, I don't know. I've heard it's really good and it's pretty spicy. So we will see, but this is going to be the second book on our September TBR. Okay, the third one, I'm really excited about these. I really don't know why I put these up against each other, probably just because they're both more of just like general fiction, not really, not really like in a subcategory, kind of like those. But first we have My Year of Rest and Relaxation. I've had this one for a while, I just haven't got the chance to read it yet. And then this one's been all over the place. It's A Little Life and this one's pretty big, but I have seen so many videos of people reading this and just bawling their eyes out, so. I really want to read it. So honestly, with these two, I was hoping this one would win because I want to read this one too. My friend is reading this one right now and I want to be able to talk to her about it. So I was really hoping that this one would win. Between these two, it looks like this one got 43% and this one got 57%. So still pretty close, not too far off of each other, but this one did win. So I'm excited to read it. Literally have no idea what it's about. I'm telling you, I strictly go off, if someone says a book is good, I'm going to get it and I'm going to read it. I just, I don't really care to know what it's about. I feel like I just like, I like the surprise of finding out what's going to happen during the book and not having any idea. Okay, so it looks like it follows like four college classmates as they move to New York in search of fame and fortune. That's all I'm going to read, but... Third book on the TBR for September is A Little Life. I'm really excited to read this one. Hopefully I can get to it soon. The last slide that I posted on my Instagram for you guys to pick was between 
Flawless by Elsie Silver and The Fine Print by Lauren Asher. I actually have the whole series of both of these downloaded on my Kindle. So I want to read one of them so I can get them off there. And I have heard so many good things about both of these series. I just like didn't know which one to pick. A little bit of me wanted the Flawless series to win just because I feel like I've been seeing more about it lately. So I like really wanted to read it. But I've also heard so many good things about the fine print. And so I was like, I don't know. I couldn't pick which one to read. So I thought it was perfect that I could ask you. So I put these up against each other and Flawless got 38% and the fine print got 62%. I, I don't know. I was really surprised by this. I think it's just because I've been hearing so much about this lately. Maybe it's with the new covers and everything coming out. But yeah, I don't know. I feel like this one is one that actually surprised me. Like the spread was a lot farther apart than the other ones. I kind of wanted to put one series against another series just so I could decide which series to read first. And the fine print one. So I'm going to be starting that soon. Because I'm trying to read some of the books on my Kindle Unlimited library, I also didn't put up a poll for this one because I already know I just like want to read it and clear it off my Kindle. Is A Thousand Boy Kisses by Tilly Cole. I have that one on my Kindle as well and it's only like 200 something pages so it probably won't take me that long but I've seen you know stuff about it all over the place and I know that there's like a second one coming out so I want to get that one read. So that is also going to be on my September TBR and then last but not least at the end of the month I'm going to be reading a fantasy book to get me into my fantasy era for the fall and I'm super excited I can finally start the series. We have Thrown of Glass by Sarah J Maas. I'm so excited. Since I finished the Akatar series, I have been wanting to start this series so, 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 so bad. I don't know what it is about her writing, but I just like feel like I live in the world and I love it. So I picked these up at Barnes and Nobles. They were borrowing get one half off. So I got like the first five books. So I'm really excited. This is going to be my last book of the month so that I can start getting into it. And then next month, a lot of the books on my TBR are going to be from the Throne of Glass series. So get excited to watch my reactions while reading this series. I'm so excited. Okay, that's all of the books that I'm going to be adding to my September TBR. I don't think I've been this excited about my TBR for a couple months, so I'm really excited. I hope you guys stick around. I'm going to have reading vlogs up for all of these books so you can see my reaction and my thoughts and if I recommend them or not. So definitely don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!